what is up neighbors welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time i'm antoinette the girl next door you guys can already see the title i'm going to be doing a wash day video can you believe it it's been like two or three years since i've done a wash day video and i'm going to be using the brand way um i believe that's how i'm pronouncing it or i'm pronouncing it correctly but yeah we're gonna jump right in this video i'm just showing you guys to have my comb and my you know um little i can't think of the thing, name of those things but you know my clips for my hair and i had a ponytail in my hair and so i am just removing my ponytail so y'all my hair have been through a lot of changes over the last couple of years and just i would say the beginning of this year my hair started doing something very weird um if you guys see my last two videos i had these butterfly lock butterfly locks in my hair and um so much of my hair came out y'all and i was just completely devastated and and so um, I don't think this is going to be that bad because I'm taking a ponytail out. So my hair was already fairly straight because I had to straighten it for the ponytail. But yeah, so I'm removing the rubber band. So as you can see, you can see where the rubber band was and be, you know, be very cautious when wearing like ponytails and rubber bands because your hair can fall out. And right there, that's like dirt, but it's also like glue because she did use some glue to glue the ponytail. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb and just like comb through it because I think that that's what kind of made a lot of my hair fall out last time I did not comb through my hair. And so to me, it is extremely important to comb through my hair before I do anything. And then I'm gonna divide it in sections. I normally divide my hair in half and then divide it into like three or four sections. Um, I believe I'm going to do three sections on each side today. No, actually I did two sections. I started off with four sections of hair and then I went to finger detangle because again, I had glue in my hair. So as you can see, I'm showing you guys the glue. I'm making sure I like properly remove that because I don't want this pulling my hair out. So the first product I'm gonna be using by this line, um, you guys know I I pre pre poo first, meaning I use conditioner first um, before I actually wash my hair. So I'm gonna be using the thick hair conditioner, and y'all, this baby was thick. Okay, she was thick, and so I do pre poo on dry hair because that just ha helps with my detangling process. And then you'll also see my um, hair revert back to curl. So I'll tell you guys, I love this conditioner already. I am definitely buying another bottle because it has so much slip in. Like I said, she's thick and she's creamy. So for me, it's super important to um, pre-poo my hair um, with conditioner first because it should make the detangling process easier. So as you can see, um, my curls are trying to do a little something, something, okay? But with this conditioner, it helps with, it's a rich conditioner to help fight frizz and nourish dry, thick hair. And um, it's good for all hair types so straight wavy curly and coily and i am grateful for you know um products or hairlines that are at brands that are actually catering to coily hair because listen you know it can be hard to find like a good conditioner and shampoo so i was very impressed with this conditioner to be honest so i'm not gonna talk your head off you guys can get the gist of what i'm doing i am just like i said i divided my hair in sections and i'm going to pre-poo and detangle um with the conditioner let you guys know you can buy this line from um sephora or i've seen it in target too i have seen it in target so yeah you can buy this line from either place it's pretty you know affordable i think but i guess on a high end because this conditioner was 30 dollars, so it's a bit pricey but i will tell you girls for my quality hair girls it is absolutely worth it okay so now that i'm done with pre pooing my sections i'm gonna go ahead and just throw a cap on my head and i'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes um normally by about 10 to 15 minutes you know just make sure that it really gets 
through my roots of my hair. And so after 10 minutes, I'm gonna go in and shampoo. So before I shampoo, I obviously have to wash the conditioner out. So again, I wash it out section by section. And y'all gonna see, like I'm gonna get really messy because uh, yeah, I had started washing my hair in the um, shower because this just get too messy, y'all. Okay, like at the sink, it just get too messy and just, it's a lot. So anyway, as you guys can see, it is gonna take me a little longer. Uh, well, it normally takes me a little longer to wash my hair because I do it in sections. It's just more convenient and it's conducive. So right now you guys see I have done washed all of the conditioner out my hair and you guys can see you know I have a loose curl pattern um, and I may have left a little bit of conditioner in but that's okay so next I'm going in with a detox shampoo uh, shampoo now I got this in one of my FabFit fun boxes if you guys haven't watched my winter FabFit fun box make sure you wash it now you guys see this facial expression is because oh it got like I love this shampoo already it had like a little tingle and my hair did did not feel stripped although you know I could tell it could be a little drying but it did not feel stripped um, this is a clarifying shampoo that deeply cleanses away dirt and oil and product buildup and is made with apple cider vinegar and quarantine which also helps strengthen the hair and y'all this is a bomb sh shampoo I'm just like you know you never really hear people rave about shampoos because they're just very drying and stripping but this one I absolutely loved it and I went in sections and um, um, it just it worked it really really worked for me I can just feel the little I can feel the apple cider vinegar uh, you know working because like I said it had like a really good um, tingle but it was like a it wasn't bad and although it has apple cider vinegar in it it doesn't have a really bad smell just in case you guys are wondering about that so normally I wash my hair twice but because I went in sections and I took my time in sections I only washed my hair one this time and a little bit of that shampoo went a long way you guys saw that my hair was very you know um soapy I guess that's the word I'm looking for so yeah now that I'm done I'm just making sure that I washed all of the shampoo out of my hair <music> y'all so next I'm going in with the way thick hair mask and you guys know if you're doing a good wash day especially after protective spots styles and heat you need to be doing a mask in your hair so I'm using this way treatment mask for thick hair specifically and y'all this baby she is thick okay she is thick now do not laugh at how I apply my mask in my hair but I just be having to make sure I get that mask in there like it's a perm and y'all notice that every time I either wash um rinse shampoo conditioner anything my hair each time I go through my comb this is pivotal for my hair to make sure it does not tangle or tangle as much now you guys saw I have four sections now I'm breaking these four sections down into six sections so basically each section is going to be split into two now this mask helps restore hydration repairs damage adds shine and is made well almond macadamia olive oil shea and all of that and y'all it has a great smell to it okay i love 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 the smell to this mask um and again it's good for straight wavy and curly hair it didn't say coily but as you guys can see like my curls are coming back so baby this is good for thick coily hair okay that's obvious if anything says thick i automatically believe it's good for coily hair now this product was I believe $38 so not too bad for a mask again a little on the high end side but I absolutely think it was worth it and I will be repurchasing this so now that I'm done applying the mask to my hair I'm just taking the clips out because I am gonna leave it in now it says leave it in for 10 minutes but baby I left this in for 25 minutes listen if they say 10 minutes that means 20 30 minutes to me okay um, normally I would get um, under the hair dryer but I just didn't feel like it today because I needed to clean so I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for about 30 minutes and when you guys see me again it would be washed out because I'm gonna wash it out in the shower because I needed to take that shirt off okay so now that I'm out of the shower y'all y'all look how shiny my hair is I don't even know if like this video is the camera is doing any justice um I do have a little uh, mask left in my hair but then I eventually had to go in the sink and wash out 
but y'all can y'all see like the texture of my look at these curls they just bounce back i'm super proud and that conditioner was bomb okay like so bomb so the next product i'm going in with this leave-in conditioner y'all for me and i know you know braiders and hairstylists they like oh don't come with any product in your hair but baby like y'all just doing my hair like i actually have to take care of my damn hair i want to put some leave-in in my hair okay i'm not going to spray too much but i'm going to put it in because again it helps with the detangling process and i'm going to be putting heat in my hair because i'm going to be drying my hair out preparing it for my next hair step so hairstyle i'm sorry so right now i'm just taking the dryer on low and i am getting the roots i usually use this um part of the the um blow dryer because that helps really really with my roots so i comb my hair out first and i go in with this piece just to make sure i get the roots and ends really good So now you guys see I'm going in with the comb. I go in with the small comb and I forgot to tell you guys this helps against to protect against um, heat damage and it helps detangle the hair. So I definitely feel like that that leave-in conditioner did just what I needed it to do. And so with the last step in here, I go in with the long comb. And before I do that, I'm going to be using the Way Hair Oil. Now, let me tell y'all something. This hair oil is no joke. I love it. This, it smells so good. It, it is super lightweight to the point that if you were getting your hair braided or, you know, them stylists like, don't put nothing in your hair, they won't even be able to tell, okay? And for me... It's important to use some type of heat protection in my hair, especially when I'm blow drying it. So it's good for damage and increased shines. And y'all, let me tell y'all, I thought I was done with that. My hair was really shiny and it prevents um, frizz. Listen, it's just a multitasking oil and I give that oil an A plus. And then that bottle was $28. So I feel like that little bottle was on the pricier side, but it's absolutely worth it. Now you guys may see like some strings and stuff like that hanging off my hair. Cause like I said, my hair, I don't know what it's doing, but it's like, it's, it's, it's not unhealthy, but it's like doing this weird, like coming out type of thing. I don't know what's happening. I hate it, but you know, it is what it is. That's why I'm taking my time and putting whatever products I need in my hair to, you know, to get it to where I need it to be thick, healthy, and growing. So now that I'm done with that side, we are going on the other side. And I'm just showing you guys, you know, my curls on this side. You know, sometimes my curl pattern in the back is super different from the front. But all it, like it's tighter in the back and looser in the front. So yeah, I just went through with that side and um, blow dry my hair. And you know, the front gets a little bit more, you know, rougher and all that type of stuff. But yeah, I'm just doing the same process, the, the four step process with these four products that I use today. Or was it five? Maybe five um, products that I use today. Um, the wide tooth comb, it really, really helped a lot to use that, especially in thick for hair. And um, that small comb, I use that because that, look at my hair, y'all, look. I just had to say that. But the small comb on the blow dryer really helps um, get, like, the roots of my hair. So this is about the amount. I lost a little more than this, actually a lot more than this. Um, I'm a little upset, but not super disappointed because my last wash day, it was crazier. But overall, y'all, this hairline weight is a 10 out of 10 a must for my coily hair girls do y'all see my hair okay like it was a very smooth very good wash day it wasn't hectic like most times it most most of my wash days are and so i'm just gonna go through with the comb again one more time so y'all we're pretty much at the end of this video i hope you all enjoy my wash day video let me know if you've used these products before and i'm definitely gonna be doing more wash day videos and and yeah, just enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.